part two. I think the Lord wants me to share more stuff, so I'm going to allow him to move through me. But it's not to condemn anybody. It's not to bring people shame. That's not what I'm trying to do here. It's to encourage others to do the right thing and to just... And by the right thing is repenting, giving up those idols, and taking your relationship with God more seriously because, you know, at one point, it's just something I had to go through as well, is had that taken away from me at that time for me to learn, okay, hey, I can't have anyone or anything before God, that's sin. That is an idol and anything that I love before God or anything I, or any person that I love before God is an idol. And I was like, I, I, I it got to the point where I, I needed to be, you know, cut out. But at the end of the day, it's like, I'm just waiting on God's timing for whenever, you know, the Lord brings me whoever he has for me. I'm just waiting on his timing. And at the end of the day, it's like, I've been praying about it, and I'm just waiting at this point. I'm not anymore just trying to search for a relationship or for a person. At this point, I'm just waiting. And, you know, and the Lord's telling me he'll make it happen. I know he will. And something we need to do, especially for going through that too, is just trusting in God and you know, waiting on his timing, and while you're waiting until God brings you the person he has for you, just in the waiting season, just preparing for whenever that comes, when that person comes along. And so, I think that's just so important that I had to go through that. I had to have that taken away from me in order for me to learn that this is not okay. I shouldn't be doing this. And, you know, we shouldn't want to do that either. And so... God had to really strip me from my pride. He had to really strip me from um, definitely a lot of pride because I'm sh I believe I did have that, and I he had to strip me from a lot of things that were not of him. He had to put he I, he I had to go through like different seasons in my life where he had to really work on me, and now just. You know, stepping into the, what the Lord is calling me to do, it, it makes me nothing more but happier because I'm on here just being obedient to God and I'm doing what he's calling me to do. And it brings me joy just knowing that I am being obedient to him and he has called me to do this. It just makes me so happy that I'm on here just being a light for Jesus, that he, he, he is, he is inside of me and he's using me to do what he's calling me to do and I think that's just so important that you know, at some point I had to come to the end of myself and when I did I finally took my relationship with God seriously and that that took a long time it really did and everybody goes through different seasons in life everybody is different but for me it did take a long time to get to the point where I'm at now where I'm actually serious this time and so some people are quick about it. Some people are just like, okay, let's not do this anymore. And it's just, you know, quick. But some people take a long time. And for me, it was a long time. But I'm really glad that I'm where I'm at now. And let this be an encouragement for you guys. Because, you know, at the end of the day, it's like, it's so important that we are putting God first. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. All these things will be added unto you. Seeking him first. And putting him first in your life. And I think that's so important that we make sure we aren't putting anyone or anything before God. And if we are, I think we really need to change some things. Because at the end of the day, what's more important our relationship with God or the idols. I think that's something you need to ask yourself. What is more important to you? For me, I would definitely say my relationship with God. I mean, I'll be the first to admit 
like, I don't know if anybody, anybody has watched my testimony or listened to my testimony, but everybody goes through stuff. And, you know, there's a lot of times in my life where I definitely wasn't right with God, and I'll admit that. I know human beings perfect, and I'm far from perfect. Um, but it took me a long time to get to the point where I'm in daily repentance with the Lord. I'm daily person, daily relationship with the Lord, spending time with Him, doing what He's calling me to do, and not giving into sin, into my flesh. And it took me a long time for me to learn that. But just let that be an encouragement, and know that you're it won't last forever. I mean just keep repenting and keep going to God and ask God for forgiveness and you know just keep going to God seeking him first and not seeking after other things because at the end of the day this world will never be able to satisfy you only Jesus can truly satisfy you um thinking of the, the story in the bible about the woman in the well and I'm thinking of a verse where Jesus was talking and I can't think of the verse but I feel like the Lord just put that on my heart so I might look it up and maybe read it okay so I found it and it's in John chapter 4 um I think it's verses yeah it's verses 13 through 14 of chapter 4 says Jesus answered and said to her everyone who drinks of this water will thirst again but whoever drinks of the water that I will give him shall never thirst but the water that I will give him will become in him a well of water springing up to eternal life so he will quench that thirst inside of you he is the only one who can truly do that and at the end of the day, we can't go out there and seeking out after others and, you know, putting them before God because that is an idol. And, you know, that that's sin. That's, that's breaking one of the Ten Commandments. And, you know, that's something we need to do is repent and just get on our knees and repent. Ask God for forgiveness and just let, like, get, like, just let go of those idols like just let them go like just just don't like if if your relationship with god is really that serious like you you at some point like you need to start cutting that out because i'm telling you end times are near i can't stress that enough judgment is here where the wicked is being judged and we'll, we're going to reap what we sow. We are going to reap what we sow. It's also harvest time. We are going to reap what we sow. So what you've sown in your last season, you're going to reap what you sow. And so that's just so important that we are making sure we're right with God and making sure we're repenting of what we're doing wrong and we're not just acting like it wasn't wrong. And when we are acting like we didn't do anything wrong, that's being prideful and being arrogant and that's the things that God hates and so it's so important that we are humbling ourselves humbling ourselves towards the Lord and asking God for forgiveness so I encourage you today if you want to take your relationship with God more seriously please let go of those idols let them go because it's not worth it it's not worth risking your relationship with God. I am telling you right now. It is not worth it. So, if any of you guys haven't accepted the Lord as their personal Savior, and if you haven't, if you want to recommit back to the Lord, I will link in the description the sinner's prayer that you can pray along with. And if you make that decision, go ahead and feel free to comment and, and you know, the angels will be rejoicing with you up in heaven for you making the decision. It will be the best decision you'll ever make. And so, God loves you. Have a great rest of your day. Stay blessed and encouraged. Know that you are blessed and loved by God. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will see you guys later. Bye.